Hey guys, my name is Gabe and I'm from drumbeatsonline.com. If you're anything like me, you watched Bruno Mars play a drum solo at the Super Bowl halftime show and you were actually pretty impressed with some of his drum fills and you thought to yourself, how do I play those drum fills? And that's what I'm here to answer today. I'm going to teach you two of his coolest drum fills that he pulled off at the Super Bowl halftime show. So let's start off right off the bat with this drum fill. So the sticking pattern for this fill is pretty repetitive. I'll break it down for you into two parts. The first part starts like this. You got your right hand on the crash and your left hand on the snare. So it's right, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left. And with your right hand, you're really going to accent all of those hits. And with your left hand, you're going to try to keep them quiet, uh, uh, quiet ghost notes on the snare drum. So together, slowly, it would sound like this. I'll play it again. The second part of the fill is a pretty similar sticking pattern. You come to the floor tom with your right hand, so it's right, left, left, and then right, left. So your left hand is always on that snare drum. Together, that second part is played like this. I'll play it again. So I'll play it all together for you real slow. And then after that, it repeats to the first part. Um, so you just repeat that pattern three times. And under all of that, you're going to keep a steady kick drum on all the quarter notes. So that would sound like this. All together, up to speed, it would sound like this. So that is the first drum fill. It's a pretty cool one, but it's pretty technical. You got to watch your dynamics. You want your right arm to really be hitting those toms and that snare hard. But your left hand, you want those quiet ghost notes on the snare drum. The second fill sounds like this. So this drum fill is called a linear drum fill. And what that means is that none of your sticks or your feet are hitting at the same time. So this one is a really cool sounding one. It sounds like you're hitting a ton of drums um, when you're really actually not. So I'll break down the sticking pattern for you um, in three different parts. So let's start off with the first one. You're going to start off with the kick and then your left hand and then your right hand. So kick, left, right, and then you repeat that sticking pattern again, but now you transfer it to the toms. So the first one is kick, left hand on the rack tom, right hand on the snare, and the second part is kick, left hand on the rack tom, right hand on the floor tom. Together slow, that would sound like this. The second part changes up the sticking pattern a little bit. Instead of going kick left right, now we're going kick right left. So on this second part, you're going to go kick, right hand on the floor tom, left hand on the rack tom, and then kick again, then right hand on the floor tom, left hand on the hi-hat. So together slow, that would sound like this. The first two parts together would sound like this. So you're going to notice that kick is going to be the first note for every single part. It's always going to be kick left right or kick right left. 
So the third part is actually the kick right left pattern again. Now we go kick, right hand on the floor tom, left hand on the rack tom again, and then kick, right hand on the snare, and left hand on the snare. Together, that part would sound like this. And then you would crash into that next beat. So now I'll play all the parts together in one fill, nice and slow. I'll play that one more time. Now I'll play it for you in the context of a beat and up to speed. So that's how you play two of the coolest drum fills from Bruno Mars' drum solo. I really hope that you guys learned a lot from it, and I hope that you can start crafting some of your own drum solos. Um, please stop by drumbeatsonline.com for more drum lessons like this, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.